Welcome to Awesome Sauce, the show where Yes TV staff takes a break from work to try some hot sauces and have some conversation. Today's topic is more of a game. We're gonna play Would You Rather. So we're gonna do two Would You Rathers in between each hot sauce and uh, yeah, let's get started. So first up, these are kind of clothing related. Would you rather be forced to wear wet socks for the rest of your life or only wash your hair once a year? Whoa. Oh gosh. I think there's a health concern with Socks. Wet socks for the rest of your life. And I was thinking, I know, not the, washing your hair. The, yeah, that's that's pretty. Ugh. But there, there aren't there people but who would actually do I that. I was thinking yeah. of like the medieval times and caveman days and whatever. Yeah. So I'm like, the wet socks. I don't think I could do the wet Seriously, socks. Seriously, I feel like I would feel sick every day of my yeah. life. And then the other one is, would you rather your shirts always be two sizes too big or one size too small? Well. As a female, <laughs> <laughs> one size too small is gonna have to do. In the back of my high school days, I'd say too big, but I've agree. grown, I I've agree. evolved. Both are bad. I know. Either you're like you look sloppy, or it's like oh, I got a shirt that's too small. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for guys, it's different. For girls, like it is in style to wear bigger shirts because then you like tuck it in, or you put it off the shoulder, or you can yeah, like wear true. it tight. Yeah. I would feel so uncomfortable having to wear clothes that are too small. And you can always say. Well, I'm wearing my boyfriend's shirt. Our first sauce of the day is the Bee Sting Thai Sting Sweet Chili Sauce. Ooh, okay, it's a mouthful. Sounds like something I'd like. I can see that. It seeds. Mm. There's no really like sting no. to it. I was gonna say it's like a bee without its stinger. And I find the taste goes away very fast. Very too. fast. Like a couple bites in, all I tasted was chicken. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Same. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real test here. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad taste, yeah. it's just forgettable. I forgot it. <laughs> I had two even if you even have two. Alright, let's rate it out of ten the bee sting, Thai sting, sweet chili sauce. It's low, but I'm gonna have to say a two. What was that? <laughs> Sorry. I would give it a four, and that's where we higher than usual, but as Dylan has tried to point out to me in the past, if I actually dislike something and don't like the taste, I gotta go lower. So for that fact, four seems fair. See, I don't mind hot sauces that aren't hot, so I'm gonna probably give that a six. I could eat that with all these. I was gonna give it a six as well, actually, because I do like the flavor. It's just like a very weak sauce. Yeah. Mm. All right, so next up, our would you rather kind of category is tech. Would you rather never have internet access or never be able to instant message? So that's texting, messenger. For me, you can't live without internet. So I would have to go with never instant messaging anybody. Agreed. I have friends who make fun of me because I still call them <laughs> instead of sending them a text message. So I would say easily we need our internet. I love instant messaging. I need to know something, like I can find out right away and that instant gratification. Yeah. But people don't always instantly respond. Anyways, <laughs> internet it is for me. Would you rather never use social media again or never watch TV slash movies again? I would never use social media again, yeah. ever. You can't go through life without watching TV or movies. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> I feel the exact same way. Movies yeah. and TV has made me the first day of today. As sad as that sounds. Sorry, mom. I was raised on TV in a in a in a healthy, healthy, way? healthy yes. balanced way. Healthy yeah. balanced way. Not to chirp the person who came up with these. But <laughs> so far, they're pretty easy to distinguish one over the other. Alright, our second sauce is the Blair's Heat Collection Chipotle Slam. Ooh. Slam. Prepare to get slammed. And welcome to the drink. We're gonna cut that. <laughs> Please. We're gonna cut that. Mm, I like that. It tastes like pickle. <laughs> it tastes a sour element, too. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with the heat. Yeah, the heat's It's just kind of sitting in the back of the throat, but yeah. it's just nice. I am getting that pickle a yeah. little bit now. It tastes like pickles. Uh, a little bit of dill in there. Yeah, yeah. you gotta check those Slightly. ingredients. Uh, it tastes a little dilly. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, let's rate it out of 10 yeses the Chipotle Slam. I, I don't feel the same way Dylan does about dill. I give it a four. It's not something I'd want to have again. I'll give it a six. It, it started around an eight, but the aftertaste, I don't like that. So it's six. You give it a five. I don't like the dill. <laughs> so our last 
last topic is sort of travel related. So would you rather explore space or explore the deep sea? Question, like, <laughs> is it gonna take the amount of time okay. in space? Like, no. <laughs> So, like, okay. take away the time it takes, the safety, the like, what would you be more interested in exploring? Space. I don't know, I just, I prefer to be floating and have my little <laughs> oxygen mask thing as opposed to, like, be floating. Floating. With floating. Oxygen mask. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should try this again. I'd pick space, too, because, number one, I'm terrified of the ocean. I don't like creatures of the ocean. I don't like sharks. And to explore space, something that you've never seen before, but anyone could just go into the ocean. I've actually heard that we know less about what's at the bottom of the ocean than what we know is in our galaxy. Kind How of do thing. you know? Who told you? Who I read the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I read the same thing. I was going to say the same thing. So, so I, I would be very interested to see what is down there that we don't know. Let me just say Dylan redeemed himself with this question. This one is much more difficult. I think they actually play on each other very well by needing oxygen and feeling the pressure of whether you're in space or you're deep underwater. With me, the thought or fear of drowning would probably send me to space instead and seeing our planet from above just yeah. seems incredible. And then, would you rather be able to fly or teleport? Teleport, for sure. Done. <laughs> I'm somewhere else. You're not seeing me right now. That's me. You free vacations. You don't have to pay for a plane yeah. ticket again. You don't yeah. have to drive home from work. You want to take a lunch break? You're gone. Where'd Dylan go? I don't know. Bathroom? No, I'm in <laughs> Bangkok. Like. <laughs> yeah. This is not my answer, but we're just gonna explore flying because, like, you can teleport to China. 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 Or you can just fly there. Yeah. I mean, think about what you could see during your flight. I think it's a really good question for whoever came up with it. Because there's such a beauty about seeing the world from a different perspective, as opposed to just the instantaneous, yeah. I'm here, I'm there. So that being said, teleporting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our third and final and hottest sauce is the <laughs> kicking ghost pepper sauce. Oh, ghost Beep. peppers. <laughs> ghost Your peppers. Favorite. So tread lightly. Was that too much? Probably. Just do it. Time will tell. Ghost pepper is amazing how it, like, literally, it touches your tongue, you feel it. Too hot. It's not Woo! as hot as others that we've had though. It's hot. It's got a good flavor though. And it's already faded. <laughs> That's the thing about ghost peppers, it hits strong yeah. but fades quick. It's my For favorite me. flavor of the three. There are others that we've had that are just a kick in the mouth. That's kind of borderline still it's tasting. It's getting there. It's getting mm -hmm. there, it is. Is right? it fading? It's lingering. I it's not going saying. away. Like I couldn't have another bite right now. I'd have to like see. wait. I think I like it the best out of the three. I don't remember what I said for the ratings for the last, but I could rate this one. <laughs> well, let's do that. Out of 10 yeses, the <laughs> kicking ghost pepper sauce. A six. I like that as a hot sauce, it has that kick. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't go drown it on all my food. I will agree with you. Uh, I give it a six as well. I'm just nervous about the repercussions because it's not called the tongue kicking sauce. So, <laughs> um, but it's tasty. Two. Like, it's not like horrible. Like, I'm not disgusted by it. Like, it tastes good, but it's just, the hot, like I, I couldn't get through a whole meal. I'll give it a seven. The flavor is good and it's not as hot as other ghost pepper sauces we've had, so I enjoy it. That's it for this episode of Awesome Sauce. We did a little would you rather game. If you disagree with us on any or agree or have any points that we didn't think of, feel free to comment below. And then subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every Wednesday with different sauces, different topics. You don't want to miss it. Thanks. Yeah.